that one there that's uh, the vella paniyaram you take a ladle of the batter and then pour it and then it bubbles and it comes up and then the flower type of a shape comes because of the bubbling of the oil you have to get the shape of the flower in the outside then the batter consistency is right i'm not that very critical at home while eating well you you're, you're yeah. a wise man to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> each one of your the south, south indian Indian nibbles that we've tasted have been absolutely <laughs> exciting right from that pundu dosa Dose. to that vella paniyaram punniyappam dampalagaram this puvaai uh, puttu it's hot ah chudu irukku one spoon of that and one piece of this i think you Chef Venkatesh Bhatt is sitting at the table and they are serving his rasam. You think they have the courage to serve? Ah, uh, no, 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 you can't take it for granted. Rasam, uh? The line she said, I will never forget in my life. He said, "He is Shivaji Ganeshan in cinema. For us, you are Shivaji Ganeshan in the kitchen. Thirty years on the range, in fire, I have learnt." Begging people, Anna, tell me, sir. Tell me. Ah, tell me. What is that? It's secret. It's not even a bundle. 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 It's not even There will be some dishes that will have my name. Royal Indian or some chef English much speciality. So what makes your rasam special? I make it. <laughs> <laughs> When you said that you are in Chennai, I readily agreed upon meeting you because of the fact that it is so nice to see a person who is sharing same type of passion. So how do you decide I'm going to do this recipe? You have got so many in your mind. There's a lot of requests that comes in. Mm. Mostly what happens is in the comment section there is a lot of people who are asking sir my grandmother says when i was on vacation when i was a child i used to go eat this this particular mm-hmm. chutney she used to make with tapioca so then you take out your research books and see from kerala or in tamil nadu deep down the nadar community does a lot of chutney so you go see is there anything made with tapioca mm-hmm. then you find out a recipe and then do it and then see whether it is similar to what that person has explained it's been a while since i tasted the dumbala karam <laughs> i remember the spiciness of the potatoes but today i'm seeing it in a new light because i'm also tasting alongside that the slight sweetness of, of the, the near caramelized onion. onion yes wonderful <laughs> this is the ayappa swami prasadam ayappa temple prasadam this ah. appam is made as a daily naivedya ah. uh, for uh, the morning time zuni appam is made with jaggery the small pieces of coconut kernels which is fried in mm. ghee the action should be the crispy on the outside and oh. soft as a bun inside you can actually <laughs> hear that crispy gentle crispy. whisper of a <laughs> crispy crunch of that onion appam <laughs> and the inside is quite airy airy yeah mm apart from the youtube channel do you still get to arrange of course most of the festivals i teach boys Yeah. yeah yeah we do at least 3 4 festivals in a year and in a quarter at least one festival i do hmm so the festival will have typical 330 to 40 dishes those 40 dishes i will be cooking at least for two days and showing mm. all the boys they get to learn at least 100 120 dishes every year because of the festival everything they have tasted so far has been exceptional no food i would say garv mein bol sakta hu it's It's one of the best. Royal Indian has been around for how long? Eight years now. The menu is mine from last three years. I'm sure there are many people who frequent Royal India, no? and I'm sure Royal India has its share of regulars. But for those who haven't discovered this restaurant yet, I think just based on the appetizers that I've tasted, mm-hmm. the South Indian repertoire, yeah. it certainly is a sort that is a must-add to your list of vegetarian dining spots in Chennai. Delicious. to do justice to this restaurant you need to surely come two times because once you have the starters you will be full you will surely like two or three out of what you eat and you will ask for second helping and third helping mm. and then to do justice to the main course and dessert you should come again or you should sacrifice uh, the main course by eating the most favorite ones one or two things and finish your dinner or lunch don't forget the rasam <laughs> though the humble rasam uh. made the right way it's delicious so is it the same rasam that you teach in your video yes it is The Mysore rasam that I taught also is there part of the menu once in a while. Yeah. The rasam keeps changing. There is a pundu rasam, there is jeera rasam, there is malaga rasam, mm. there is lemon rasam, there is Mysore rasam. These are chutney bade or the masal bade. Mm. Very simple concept, but the skill is in executing it right. Allah. The texture, mm. how it holds, how the inside part is cooked but still soft. Outside. Outside crispy. crispy. 
Vella paniyaram is the dish that is made by pouring it in oil. The oil in a jalebi tawa uh -huh. is flat. Okay. It's shallow fried. You take a ladle of the batter and then pour it. And then it bubbles and it comes up. And then the flower type of a shape comes because of the bubbling of the oil. You have to get the shape of the flower in the outside. Then the batter consistency is right. Otherwise, it's too thick. So you add water, adjust it and then pour it again. So like for example, let's say you take a recipe that is made by a homemaker. Perhaps that recipe is in Kerala. Now when you bring it here to Chennai, now the weather is different. The kind of produce that you get may be different. So you have to always keep working on the 100%. recipe, right? Fundamentally, no recipe can ever be at a point of fullness saying, I am complete. Ah, no. It, it changes. Same Bella uh, Paniyaram. If you are doing it in Chennai in May, might as well grind it and immediately do it. Uh, if you are doing it in Uti or you are doing it in uh, the month of December in Chennai, you can afford to keep it for two hours and still the texture will be the same. It will not ferment. Uh, but in April, May, it will ferment in 10 minutes. Correct. So and for that dish, it shouldn't ferment. You grind it and immediately do it. So you'll have to do small batches of grinding yes, and then yes, cook it. Yes. What does Chef Venkatesh Bhatt eat at home? The humble curd rice. <laughs> What's your wife's name? My wife is Shobita. 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 So does Mrs. Shobita Bhatt have a tough time <laughs> trying to... Uh, Was having a tough time. Okay. Uh, so now... Till your YouTube channel came. <laughs> <laughs> no, till the time she figured out what I like. Yeah. Uh, my taste buds. I'm not that very critical at home while eating. Well, uh, you're, you're yeah. a wise man too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at home, it's what? Yeah, like, like at home, it's uh, whatever okay. she does. I eat it as if I like it the most. <laughs> and I'm sure you like it the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we are vegetarians. Okay. okay. So, it's a simple home cooked food. Uh, but uh, there are certain dishes that she has learned from her mother. Okay. Uh, that she does exceptionally well. Okay. There's a green color pulao that she makes. She is from Mangalore. Halayangadi. Halsinan gatti, kadugu, neer dosa, pundi gatti. Neer dosa, pundi gatti, you know, I've never eaten before wedding. Correct. So, after I got married, she did something said pundi gatti and mentha chutney. It was divine. Mentha chutney. Uh, with just tamarind, little bit of jaggery and that mentha podi. So, marveling for breakfast. So, so, do you also get inspired by some of her cooking? Some lots, of lots, yeah. lot of dishes. Lot of this home style Mangolian food I have done in my YouTube channel is from hers. Let's taste some of your... Uh, Goli soda. Goli paneer soda. Mm. That's a tandoori mushroom. And, and the broccoli. Malai broccoli. Thank you very much. Now let's talk about the dosa. Dosa in Tamil Nadu, no? that's what you say, and dosa in Karnataka. Karnataka. So, what is the fundamental difference there? We no. don't use avalakki here. Mm. Here it is three parts of rice, dosa rice, one part of raw rice, one part of uraddal. So, nal kakki ka ondu ah, okay. Here. There, Uddu is very less, they put more of avalakki. There is an element of cooking soda in it, which gives that red color. Is that because of the boiled rice? So, or the it's sugar also the dosa rice, rice, the sugar and also the soda. And the dosa tava's temperature. The dosa is cooked for much longer time than it is cooked in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu also the dosa is thin, right? It is thin and crispy. There it is thick. And watery. Here the batter is little thick. And that is why it becomes like a pillow. Because it is watery, it has soda and avalakki. It gives you that millions of holes. And it becomes mota where the, the tatta is not hit. So when you take a dosa, you your hand is full of that fat. The ghee or uh, whatever. Ghee, oil, butter combination. Yeah. So that is the difference between the dosa there and here. Dosa here is flat and long. Mm. There the dosa is like a saucer. Here the masala is more of onion, it is little watery, there it is more like a palya. Mm. It is taken like this and put in the dosa. Correct. Here you have to take it in a ladle and pour it. Little pouring consistency, it is not that total dry. There they put that red chutney. Correct. Inside that here there is no concept of putting a chutney, there is a coconut chutney that is served separately. When you order for a masal dosa, wherever in Karnataka, does the masal dosa come without the palya? It doesn't. So that's the whole point. Traditionalists say that uh -huh. the masal dosa, like if you ask people who the older people, mm. they say the masale actually is the red chutney. Red chutney. But over a period of time, its interpretation has become the palya. palya. And therefore, today, if you ask a masal dosa anywhere, it may it have the chutney or not, but the palya, palya is, is there. 100% there. <laughs> but with the chutney, without palya, without the chutney, without the palya, however it is, 
it is divine it is divine yeah. when you break it that feeling that you get yeah. the soft part and the crispy, crispy part, part going inside with that neer chutney uh, <laughs> heaven mm, no chance <laughs> but today is not about the masala dosa today is about the vella paniyaram yeah varamulaga chutney and this chutney you said has only the red chilli the gundumulaga mm garlic oh i can taste the nallennai pundu right away mm the gingerly oil also is an oil that's used for pickling in certain places yes. right in tamil ha huh. uh gingerly oil is called nallennai nallennai mm. nalla means good so it is good for your health in house they will have till seeds grown marachekku will be there they will grind, grind it, it and get the oil oh nallana was the medium of cooking then nei ghee ghee and this is a nalla vella paniyaram <laughs> vella paniyaram Pendas this has to be like a pillow mm it's almost like a the layer separate inside mm. the outside part cooks which comes directly under the contact of the oil it becomes crispy huh. the inside part starts cooking and becomes fluffy huh. and there's a lot of aeration that happens mm this is something that i'm tasting for the first time there's a mm very famous poet in tamil nadu called kannadasam okay the story goes that you give him vella paniyaram mm he will give you a song in the next 5 minutes yeah mm. he is an addiction to this i like the texture of this vella paniyaram mm. you have this crisp edge that you crunch into of course there's a bit of the chutney that's crusted onto it <laughs> and what is chutney called you said vara molaga chutney vara molaga chutney and on the inside that paniyaram is quite fluffy and quite layered and i think what happens as it cooks it also traps a layer of steam, steam yes in between that that also helps keep that paniyaram that vella paniyaram quite soft mm-hmm. on the inside those generations vella paniyaram is a way of checking whether the bride is ready for wedding can i marry this girl uh-huh. vella paniyaram will decide oh, she, how she makes she has to make a vella ah, vella paniyaram bana theriyuma <laughs> do you know to make it then okay that's one criteria do you know to dance do you know to sing do you know to make vella paniyaram <laughs> well <laughs> Those are not the times we live in of course. <laughs> mm. I think your South Indian appetizers here are very exciting. I mean, this is very standard, right? Yeah, the correct. broccoli that we tasted, the yeah, mushroom. Yeah. It is available everywhere, mostly. Yeah, you would have tasted it before. That's right. And it's made well. I mean, there's yeah. no taking away from that. But I think each one of your the South, South Indian dishes that we've tasted have been absolutely <laughs> exciting right from that pundu dosa no to that vella paniyaram unniyappam dampalagaram and this puvarai uh, puttu superb <laughs> at this stage you feel like okay fine you've eaten a fair bit <laughs> yeah and if you do not have the intention of having main course uh, i'm sure that you will like to have one puvarai puttu and one vella paniyaram for right. sure that's right that's right that is the type of starters that we want to give it should be uh original uh. it has to be something that has not been tasted before uh. and when you eat it you feel that ah my grandmother used to make something like this who oh, is this that one this is and that one. Uh, you go back home and say that no 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 i ate that murga ka paaya avarka usli vatta kolambu enna katrika biryani with raita idiyappam appalam and meat with coconut rice fantastic thank you very much yes, Oh, there's more and more things coming. Kal dosa. Kal dosa. I can almost see the camera through that translucent <laughs> circle of that kal dosa. I think I'm going to make quick work of that kal dosa. Ah, the sambar is nice and hot. Hmm. I love the pointed. Uh, sarness of the sambar mm. with the tamarind so the kerala sambar has a ground coconut mm. potato lady's finger these are the vegetables that is used mm-hmm. so this is a kerala sambar yeah so also in the sambar the roasting of the masala is a little deeper is it the regular arachi vetta sambar in tamil nadu is not roasted ah this, this one, one is, is roasted in coconut oil the dhaniya the red chilli the coconut more of jeera ah okay is, is roasted in coconut oil and then ground to a paste wonderful so that's why the flavors are also deep mm muruga ka paya muruga ka paya ah 
So this is what a coconut milk sort of a this thing. This is coconut, somp, green chilli, uh. ground to a paste yeah. with flavouring of star anise. It certainly is very aromatic. How often do you eat here? Monthly, once or twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is that how you make sure that everything is going right? No. In terms of checking of quality and all that, very rarely I come and do an audit like that. Okay. Because it's given to people with very safe hands, mm. who are trained directly under me. Dinesh. Yes. Dinesh is my sous chef for this outlet. Nala he takes me as a guru. He has 800,000 people following him on Instagram. Really? Wow. Yeah. 8 lakh people follow him on Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? Chef Dinu. Sir. Chef Dinu. Mm. Yes. He does exclusive recipes, which is all 1 minute, 2 minute recipes ah. of complicated dish. He has a technique of explaining it like that home style person. Ah. So, so much followers. So, he is the one who is heading this restaurant. So, I very rarely come here and taste the food in an audit perspective. I come here and dine to eat nicely. As a diner. Ah, as a diner. Ah. I come and enjoy the food. So, like this I have people in most of the restaurants who adore me, who respect me and love me. They will themselves not allow anything that is substandard. It will not go out of the kitchen. So, I meet for 17 years. I meet for 17 years. I meet for so, Robert Purchid, he liked everything that he ate so far. So, and after 17 years, to <laughs> celebrate that meeting over a meal as special as this, very nice, excellent. Thank you so much. Sir. I think if you want to really celebrate South Indian vegetarian cuisine in the city of Chennai, you have to visit Royal Indiana. I think this is a restaurant that definitely deserves to be right up there on the map. All my gurus are. <laughs> He's been with me for many years. Yeah. He started here. Royal Indiana will be in all our hotels. Oh, lovely. And individually as Royal Indiana, we are planning to open one in Dubai and one in Germany. Oh, really? As Royal Indiana as a restaurant. So, he will be molding people, training people under him and sending their... Every dish, solid. <laughs> then it is like fundamentally very strong. Correct. No, it can't be... Uh, uh, it can't uh, be... Uh, it can I can just did it. No, 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 no. no, very good. And for example, the aromatic flavours of this, very good. And also I think there is some cardamom that goes into it as well, whole cardamom. Cardamom, bay leaf, somf, mm. coconut. It is a replacement of uh, article by a non-vegetarian. Mm. The Ambur style biryani. biryani. This is another Dinesh. He is the executive chef of the hotel. Okay. I am here for 12 years, he is here for 13 years, so he is senior to me. Thank you very much. So, I mean, Dinesh is very, very strong in Indian food. Okay. North Indian is his forte. Where are you from? Born in Uttarakhand, sir. Born in Uttarakhand. I'm in Delhi and I'm settled in Chennai. Very good. Thank you, sir. Nice so, Dinesh heads the team with about 60 cooks. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. What is that? Togail is a type of a chutney uh. which is made with dal and coconut. Oh, okay. Mm. What is that roasted in? Coconut oil. So, what is this buffet priced at? 1750 on some weekends. Yes, sir. 150 during weekdays. But there's a fair bit that you get for that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you need to book tables. You will not get a table. Yeah. yeah. For lunch and dinner. We do two sittings, that's all. For lunch, two sittings, dinner, two sittings. This is the Poondu, right? Ah, Poondu, what's going on? So again, in this garlic, tamarind, little bit of jaggery, red chilli powder, dhania powder. Vatta means what? In Vatta means dry. Ah. Anything that is dried, it can be berries, it can be oh, vegetables. Even uh, brinjal vattal is there, lady oh. finger vattal is there, which is sun dried. So, this is also the sort of food that would travel well. Like yeah, you can make it and keep it for weeks together, nothing will happen. Mm. The vegetables are dried, sun dried, and it has tamarind and there is no coconut. You cook it today and eat it day after tomorrow, it's much, much tastier. Mm. Because the tamarind and the ying has to combine together for a period of 24 to 48 hours. This, of course, is your That's your Ennagatli guy. There's a lot of difference between the Enna guy and the Enna Katrika, yeah? Enna Katrika is a chitina dish. It's a completely different thing. It's hot. Ah, it's <laughs> One spoon of that. 
and one piece of this. I think if Chef Venkatesh Bhatt is sitting at the table and they are serving his rasam, you think they will have the courage to serve? Uh, no, no, no. You, you can't take it for granted. Rasam, uh? So in this, the flavor is led by the cumin. Yeah. yeah. So that's what you were mentioning. That the... Jeera ke rasam. That is justice. <laughs> the spoon is a bit of a... Hindrance actually. Yeah. <laughs> With that one nice, neeruli sendige. Perfect. We don't have the sendige, but uh, we have the appalam. Appalam. <laughs> So I am sure many people, when you travel across the globe, recognize you. Very much, very mm -hmm. much. God has been kind and uh, they call me Gordon Ramsay of the South, they call me Sanjeev Kapoor of the South. And a lot of people say, no sir, you are the only Venkatesh Bhatt, sir. You are the Venkatesh Bhatt. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> there was a very famous actor in Tamil Nadu, Tamil cinema called Shivaji Ganeshan. Yes, I know his son. Uh, Prabhu. Uh. Uh, Shivaji Ganeshan's daughter. Uh. Uh, one is Shanti and then one other, one other daughter. They have two daughters. That second daughter, is very close to two people. One is Bharati bus service. Very old in Tamil Nadu. They had hundreds of buses. That owner's daughter. Okay. And the second daughter is Vardhanaja Mudaliyar, Bombay. Okay. On whose Nayak and all was taken. Uh, uh. Vardhanaja Mudaliyar's daughter. Three of them came to dine here in the TBO. They saw me. They came and took pictures. I never knew who they were. They took pictures. And they said, uh, the other one said, you know who this is? They said, Shivaji Ganesh's daughter. Oh, I said, my God, wonderful. She said, who, you know who this is? This is Vardhanaja Mudaliyar's <laughs> daughter. So yeah. This one is Bharati Bus Line's owner. Yeah. We were all three are of us college friends. We are meeting after so many years. Mm. And I want to take a picture with you. And you are such a big fan. My daughter is uh. in US. Uh. She is an even bigger fan of yours. I told your father is the one who told her how Karnan would be. Uh. How Raja Raja Chodan would be. How Veera Pandey Kattabamman was. All these mythical characters were portrayed. Today, if I close my eyes and think about Raja Raja Chodan, you your father's face only will come. Mm. For me, he is Raja Raja Chodan. So such a stalwart in acting and you are telling you are my fan. The line she said, I will never forget in my life. She said, he is Sivaji Ganeshan in cinema. For us, you are Sivaji Ganeshan in the kitchen. For ah. us, kitchen is much more important than cinema. Fantastic. So you are our Sivaji Ganeshan. That is what she said. So that is the type of importance they give to food. That shows what you are, how you have touched their heart. It's true that uh, to reach a man's heart is through the stomach. Well, <laughs> it's always a pleasure to talk. Thank with you, you uh, Venkatesh, and I'm so happy that. Oh, oh, you're not having this? <laughs> no, no, I'm not having curd rice today. I'm full. I am. My mouth is with the renna kathri kai. So mm. <laughs> it's always a pleasure talking to you. You're bringing me more things. Mango pickles. Okay, very little. I remember my conversations with you back in the day and uh, I've always enjoyed them. When you speak with somebody who's passionate about what they're doing, passionate about their craft, is very knowledgeable, knows so many things, you always go back richer. And that's a feeling that I used to have when I used to meet you back mm -hmm. then. And I must tell you that feeling is only amplified. <laughs> Thank you. After Thank meeting you. you for 17 years. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, speaking to you um, and tasting Thank you. This delicious meal with you. It's mutual. Very rarely I give out interviews, I, I, I go on shows outside and, and talk. It has been mutual, the same passion that you carry for your art, I related to it. Two like-minded people, two passionate people who in difficult stormy situations also have hung in there, uh, been there and done it and proven. So you are one among them. So I look at you like that. So wonderful with the experience that you have and you are tasting this food, my food. After about 18, 19 years. That's right. Mm, so, and you still feel that, uh, you believe that I still know to cook. It's a testimony that, yes, I am a chef. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I don't know what to say to that, but you're a master, you're a doyen. And especially when it comes to South Indian cooking, I think you've really dug deep into mm -hmm. what the traditions hold and you're bringing it out to the people of Chennai and I'm sure wherever you go across mm -hmm. the world. Thank but thank you so much. Such Wonderful. a pleasure talking to you. Wonderful thank having you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. And I hope <laughs> you enjoyed this conversation with the one and only, the inimitable <laughs> Chef Venkatesh Bhattu. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong <laughs> and happy 
eating. You don't have anything to eat, so I'm going to do the eating for <laughs> Venkatesh too. Thank you. You're in Chennai. Well, we say vanakam and close things. Vanakam, nandri. Nandri. <laughs> nandri vanakam. We say nandri vanakam and close things with the thayar sadam. <laughs> If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.